it's a problem now. Just go through it. A beam of symmetrical I section spanning 8 meter has a flange width of 250 mm. It is mm actually, change it, it's not the meter. Two fifty mm, two fifty mm, and flange thickness of eighty mm respectively. The overall depth of the beam is four fifty mm. Thickness of the web is eighty mm. Okay, it's a symmetrical I section. Let me write the diagram for the same. He says that it's a symmetrical section, so I'm writing the figure of a symmetric A section. Okay. The flange width is 250 mm. Here it is 250 mm. Then thickness of flange is 80 mm. Overall depth is 450 mm. Thickness of flange is 80 mm and overall depth is 450 mm 450 mm then thickness of web is also 80 mm thickness of web is also 80 mm okay so this is the sectional dimensions. The beam is processed by a parabolic cable with an eccentricity of 150 mm at the center of the span and zero at the support and zero at the support. If uh, we assume some length of the beam, I draw the central axis. What it says is, uh, it's a parabolic cable with an eccentricity of 150 mm at the center and zero at the support. Therefore, let me write the figure of the parabolic cable with 150 mm eccentricity at the center and zero eccentricity at the support. OK. The lay load on the beam is 2.5 kilonewton per meter. Lay load on the beam is given. It is given as how much? 2.5 kilonewton per meter. OK. Now moving on to the question. Determine the effective force in the cable for balancing dead load and lay load on the beam. That is the first question. Okay. Anyway, we will solve this first question and we will move on to the next question. What is the question here? To determine effective force in the cable for balancing dead load and lay load on the beam. Okay. Balancing dead load and lay load on the beam means what? Moment caused due to processing force if it is equal to moment due to the external load or moment due to the uh, lay load at the dead load then it will be a balancing condition correct when the moment due to lay load and the dead load becomes equal to moment due to the processing force then it is a balancing condition okay so if the question is to find effective processing force in the cable for balancing dead load and the lay load so we will utilize that condition and we will find the Force P. So before that, uh, you find the cross-sectional area of the 
beam cross sectional area all basic parameters we need to find correct ah cross sectional area uh, dead load moment line load moment okay all those things you you find after that we can we can equate uh, moment due to loads to the moment due to the processing force so as to get the magnitude of the processing force okay cross sectional area how much it will be uh, the area of uh, plane is 250 by 80 okay and there are two flanges into two plus plus what is the depth of a pier overall depth is 450 450 minus 80 minus 80 how much will get 450 minus 80 minus 80 Uh, 8450 minus 8 is uh, 3 370 i think 370 minus 80 290 will get correct ah uh? 290 okay therefore plus 80 into 290 80 into 290 calculate the answer area of the section If you calculate it, it is uh, 63,200 mm square. Please check the answer. In terms of meter square, it is uh, 63,200 into 10 power minus 6 meter square. Okay. Now, if you know the cross sectional area, you can cal easily calculate the self weight of the beam. Therefore, self weight is equal to. Therefore, self weight is equal to. W G is equal to cross-sectional area multiplied by density. Okay, cross-sectional area in terms of meters squared is sixty-three thousand two hundred into ten power minus six into ten power minus six into density is twenty-four. How much will get? So calculate it. It is one point. 51 kilo newton per meter okay therefore self weight moment is equal to therefore self weight moment mg is equal to wg l square by 8 okay what is the length of the beam given Length of the beam is given as eight meter. So here, let me write the L eight meter. Okay. Therefore, it is W G is one point five one into eight square by eight. Answer is twelve point one three kilonewton meter. Okay. Next, we can also find the line load moment. Line load moment. That is M Q is equal to W Q L square by eight. It is simply supported by beam carrying load L. So line load intensity is given. How much it is given? Two point five kilonewton per meter. Therefore, it is two point five into eight square by eight. The answer is twenty into so twenty kilo newton meter. Okay. Now you can calculate the total moment, which include uh, includes the load moment and the dead load moment. Therefore, total moment, total moment. Let me call it as m. M is equal to twelve plus twenty, thirty two point one three kilo newton. Meter, or m is equal to 32.13 into 10 to power 6 newton millimeter. Okay. Now we got moment due to line load and the dead load. Total moment due to line load and the dead load. What he says is determine the effective force in the cable for balancing the dead load and the line load on the beam. Okay. 
for balancing dead load on the lay load of the beam, moment due to processing force must be equal to moment due to load. Moment due to load is known. We will find moment due to processing force equating both. You will get the processing force. Correct. Moment due to moment due to processing force processing force at center of span is equal to is equal to what is moment due to pressing force p into eccentricity correct huh? eccentricity at the center is known how much it is 150 mm so 150p p into 150 okay therefore for balancing condition okay for balancing condition moment due to processing force must be equal to moment due to loads okay therefore therefore for balancing for balancing moment due to processing force processing force must be equal to moment due to load okay load means including live load and the dead load therefore moment due to processing force is p into 150 p into 150 is equal to moment due to load is 32.13 into 10 power 6 32.13 into 10 power 6 okay therefore force p if you calculate it will be 214.2 into 10 power 3 newton okay here be careful moment should be substituted in terms of newton millimeter because here 150 is substituted in terms of millimeter okay so if you apply a processing force of 1214.2 into 10 power 3 newton or 214.2 kilo newton then there will be a balancing condition okay it will balance moment due to loads which includes moment due to red load and the live load okay to this we have solved the first question then moving on to the next question sketch the distribution of resultant stress at the center of span section for above case okay we have to sketch the distribution of the stresses okay second question resultant stress is equal to resultant stress is equal to p by a we already know this uh, equation plus p by z correct minus mg by z minus mq by z correct huh? therefore p by a p by a plus so in the numerator uh, in the denominator z is uh, common therefore we can add all the num uh, numerator values p minus mg minus mq divided by z okay now what is the value of p minus mg minus mq it is zero how it is zero how it is zero means here we can say here in the problem it is clearly said moment due to processing force equal to moment due to load okay moment due to processing force is pe moment due to load load is mg plus mq okay therefore if you bring this mg plus mq to the lhs it becomes p minus mg minus mq equal to zero so this term becomes equal to zero no need to calculate okay only uh, the stress is direct stress due to the processing force that is p by a okay now you can substitute the value of processing force how much it is 214.2 into 10 power 3 divided by cross sectional area in terms of mm square you substitute it is 63200 63200 okay therefore the stress is calculate the answer 
and cross check the answer it is 3.39 newton per mm square okay 3.39 newton per mm square and direct stress is same in both top fiber and the bottom fiber you can write the diagram you can write the stress distribution diagram okay it is 3.39 3.39 newton per mm square here also 3.39 newton per mm square both are positive so this is stress distribution okay so to this we have solved the second question now we'll see what is third question calculate the shift of the pressure line from the tendon center line okay for this we have uh, already uh, known with uh, the formula third question third question shift of the pressure line from tendon is equal to what m by p correct we are already known with this formula p m by p is equal to uh, 32 point what is the total moment 32 point 13 3 into 10 power 6 1 3 into 10 power 6 divided by pre-stressing force 214.2 into 10 power 3 214.2 into 10 power 3 okay if you calculate it will be 150 mm okay so 150 mm is the shift of pressure line from the tendon okay so to this uh, the problem is completed okay if you have got any doubts at any point of calculation you can ask any doubts thank you students so to this model one is over okay thank you